Billy Graham himself was a salesman. He saw himself as a salesman of faith. He said, I'm selling the most important thing on earth. Why shouldn't I promote it as well as soap? Want your problem solved? Want that burden lifted? Right now, you want those frustrations and inner conflicts quieted, and you want inner serenity in your soul? Do you want that? You really do? All right, you can. Right now, if you let Christ come into your heart, he'll bring you inner pleasure and inner joy that nothing else can bring. Graham surrounds himself with a team that can act very much like a sophisticated corporation to sell their message and to win over converts. They start very modestly by setting up the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association in 1950. There's an office in Minneapolis. But over the next four years, there's already an increase to 80 full-time staff members. And this tells the story of revivalism turning into a business. I wonder if you'd take time to write that letter this week. Remember, our mailing address is just Billy Graham, Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's all you need, just Billy Graham, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Giving is a quintessential Christian duty, and everyone who attended the crusade meetings knew they were expected to make an offering. When he founded the association, he made rules for it, that they run their finances perfectly. And so he had outside auditors and so forth coming in and running through them with a fine tooth comb. There are a lot of other kinds of evangelists that preyed upon their members and people who came to the shows and took their money and were not sincere. Billy Graham is aware that an early scandal could destroy the mission. And that is why he is setting up his organization as a nonprofit. He proudly claimed that he only received the salary of an ordinary minister throughout his career. 